This video may not peak to everybody. However, it will peak to people who have a rooted device. Again, to find out if your device is actually rooted or not, you're gonna need to head over to the Play Store, download any type of root checker, open it up, run it, and it will tell you if the, your device is rooted. If your device is not rooted, you can download Ingroot or Better yet, you can go to something like Freak Tab. <coughs> I'll put the link below and you can look up your box and see if there's a firmware. A lot of the firmwares again on there are uh, rooted. So you'll be able to install uh, Exposed because that's what we're going to be looking at today. Today, the video I'm going to be showing you is how you can install an APK on top of an APK. You guys might be wondering, well, what do you mean? Normally you can do that. Yes, if the APK is done by the actual developer and they push out an update, you will have no issue installing that APK over the old one. However, if the APK has been modded by somebody else in any other way, there's a different signature and you cannot install that APK over the original. You need to have a modded one. Now, the modded ones, typically you can't install a modded one over a modded one. You need to remove the one you have. Some APKs have setting backups, some of them don't. So you lose all your favorites, all your settings. It can be real annoying. Now, if you're rooted, there's something that you can install called, uh, there's two things. Disable app uh, signature comparison, which is super user mode X. Okay, this works on Lollipop, Marshmallow, and Nougat. Okay, this is such a great thing to have. Link for this will be below. Don't don't uh, listen to the Sony Cross device. But you come here, you come here, you click this, and you install the APK. Okay, if you're on anything below seven, so if you're on Android six and below, I'll leave this below. Though this will work, but let's say you're on Android four, okay, and you want something, this will not work. You can use this one. I'll link this below. This is X installer, so I'm gonna show you two different ones. But most of you guys should be on iOS five or up, so this will work just fine. So you install these. Obviously, you're gonna need to have exposed installed. Okay, so you're going to open up Exposed, you're going to go to Modules, you're going to enable both these, okay? If you install both of them, you can. Um, however, if you don't install Super Mode, you're going to enable this, you're going to reboot X Installer, and X Installer actually has options for you. So as you can see here, you have Exit Mode, Launch Icon, all that stuff. You can turn all that on. Installation, you can come here so you can enable downgrading apps, installing unknown apps, Install apps on external storage. Disable check signatures, uh, stuff like that. Verifying apps, you can disable all this. Installations, you have options. App info, you can disable some of this. Device options, you can even change your device. And then there's miscellany. So signature, verifying signatures, disable, check permissions. You can disable all that stuff too. So there, there's stuff you can play with X installer. Basically, this will allow you to install an APK over top. Now, because I'm on Android 7, this doesn't work for me. Okay, but I, I had it there because I was testing uh, to see maybe if they pushed out an update. But anyhow, for this, as you can see, this is disabled. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use Terrarium TV as an example. No, I do not promote this, so I'm not going to link it below where you can get it. However, I have the regular Terrarium TV installed. So let's say I wanted to install the mod one, okay? The mod one will not install. As you can see here, I'm going to attempt to install it and watch what happens, okay? It's saying installing. So application not installed. The package conflicts with an existing package by the same name because it's a different signature. I have a different modded one. I believe that's different. Yeah, this is a different modded one. Let's take a look. Okay. Even though it says, do you want to update? I don't know if you saw that. It still conflicts. Now, if I ran this one, it would install over top because it's the regular copy. But now if we go here, so now that I've enabled that in, so now that I've enabled this, okay, <coughs> I'm going to have to root, uh, reboot my device. So I'm going to reboot my device really quick. And then I'm going to show you what will happen when I actually go back and try and install it. Now that that is actually enabled. Okay. So this is really nice to have. Now there is a downside to this, right? Because there's no... You know, there's no checking or anything like that. Uh, if you technically get something that's the same name, but it's a heavily modified dangerous APK, you could be installing it and 
not even know because it's it's gonna fail right even though you can't really know by signature and a warning like that this can be dangerous um however if you're somebody who messes with mod modded apks and and stuff like that and you're getting sick of uninstalling the modded one to reinstall a new modded version or even regular apks that aren't done right and you're not able to over install, you have to keep removing it. This will eliminate that problem, okay? So, waiting for my device to boot up here. So, if we go into exposed, you can see that module is enabled now. There's no settings or anything, so you can't click it to bring up anything, okay? However, if we go back to ES File Explorer, Give it a minute to load. Okay. Now, like I said, I have the regular version for Terrarium installed, so it wouldn't install the mod. So this is a mod one. So if I go to install, package installer, as you can see, do you want to update these ex existing uh, application? I'm gonna hit yes. None of your data gets lost or anything like that. It stays, but as you can see, I'm gonna give it a minute. Now, I noticed for this, it does actually take a little bit of a longer time to install, but it will install. So the cool thing about this is too, if you have the modded version and you want to install the regular version, you actually can. You can swap back and forth without losing anything and it will install. So as you can see here, it is taking quite a bit, like I said, and obviously different applica applications are going to take a different amount of time but it would have failed already if it was gonna fail, but obviously it's not going to, because as you can see, it installed. Now here is the regular version. If you click here, go to install, package installer, install. Here, I installed, it the, installed the mod uh, APK, and now I'm installing the regular one. And I'll even show that they're different sizes. All three of them should be different sizes from each other. It's not the same APK. They're all different. <coughs> I obviously have to wait for this to finish. I'm probably not going to cut this. I'm going to let this so stay so you guys can see that there is no, you know, magic going on. You can even try this for yourself. Okay. So as you can see, I installed the regular one. Now, if I go to view detail and let's say medium detail. Okay. As you can see, all the terrariums are different sizes. Okay. So you can install these on top of each other, which is really friggin' nice. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. This is how you can install APKs that are modded, change and all that on top of one another from regular to modded, back to regular or from modded to modded to modded to modded without actually having to physically remove them. And no, it does not mess with your settings or anything like that. They all stay the same. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out, and see you in my next one. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in May Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.